Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedayatullah with another new video. In this video, I am going to discuss about types of slab in construction. I mean, which types of slab are used in construction? So, I'll discuss about that. So, let's uh, start. And if you're new here, press the like button. Also, press the subscribe button. Your own like inspire me for the ne next work. So, let's uh, start. First of all, we'll see the type slab so what is slab actually a reinforced concrete slab is a carcial structure element and is used to provide flat surface floor or ceiling in building on the basis of reinforcement provided beam supports and the ratio of a span slab are generally classified into one way slab and two way slab the former is supported one two side and the ratio of long to short span is greater than two however the latter is supported on four side and the ratio of long or short span is smaller than two okay so this is the main criteria of short column and long column and definition of slab so now if we go for types of slab so there are different types of slab here one way slab one way joint slab i mean riveted slab then waffle well slab rigid slab then flat slab then sorry uh, flat sla uh, flat plates then flat slabs then two way slab on beams hollow core slab then hardy slab then uh, bubble deck slab then composite slab and precast slab slab on grad now i will discuss about one way slab on beam cast in situ method is used to construct one way slab on beams which involves fixing of forms followed with the inst inst installation of reinforcement and finally the pouring of fresh concrete they can also be used for larger span with laterally with relatively higher cost and higher slab deflection additional framework for beams is however needed so here is the figure of one way slab i mean its length with ratio will be more than two length with ratio will be more than two so on a joint slab repeated slab in consist of a floor slab usually 50 to 100 millimeter thick supported by reinforcement concrete the rivets are usually trapped and are uniformly spaced at distance that do not exist 75 millimeters sorry uh, 700 705 millimeters the ribs are supported on girders that rest on column okay then we'll go for rigid slab it is a type of reinforced concrete slab that contains a square rigid with deep side waffle slab construction process include fixing from placement of pods on shuttering installation of reinforcement between pods installation of steel mesh on top of pods and pouring of concrete after that flat plates flat plates can be constructed as a one way or two way slab it is directly supported by columns or wall it is easy to construct and record simple framework sorry uh, that is flat plates then it's flat slabs this is topically a reinforced slab supported directly by columns or caps without 
the use of beams. This type of slab is generally easy to construct and record little framework. The loads are directly transferred to the column. They need more framework than flat plates, especially from column capitals. In most case, only draw plans without uh, columns capitals are used. It can be constructed as a post tension flat slab. Then two a slab on beam. Here, uh, if the ratio of length with ratio of slab is more uh, less than two, then it is known as two a slab. The construction of these types of slab is similar to the one way slab of on beam, but it may need more framework since two way slab are supported on all side. Hollow core slab. In this type of slab, some hollow will be created to reduce its weight. I mean, uh, not only do those core decline self weight and uh, increase structural efficiency, but also act as a service ducts. Okay, it is suitable for case where fact construction are desired. The slab units are commonly installed between beams using cranes and the gaps between units are filled with skirts. Hardy slab. In hardy slab, It is constructed using hardy brick, which significantly decline the amount of concrete and eventually the slab self weight. Okay, I mean, uh, when we will use the hardy brick or hardy block, then it, it will decrease the self weight of the slab and also the requirement of concrete. I mean, it will be very cost efficiency. The construction of hardy slab involves framework, installation, hardy block, placement, placement of reinforcement into gaps between blocks, placement of steel mesh on the block, and finally, pouring of concrete. Then bubble deck slab. In these types of slab, some bubble will be placed uh, inside to reinforcement then it will be constructed a similar way okay so you can uh, read that from here it is constructed by placing plastic bubbles which are prefabricated and uh, reinforcement it is then placed between and over plastic bubbles and finally fresh concrete is poured the plastic bubble replace the ineffective concrete at center of the slab Bubble deck slab reduce weight, increase strength. Lar larger span can be provided. Fewer columns needed. No beams or ribs under the ceiling are required. So it is very cost efficiency, and for large span. And uh, here, in these types of slab, number of columns are less required. Then composite slab composite slab means here different types of material used in this slab commonly it is constructed from reinforced concrete cast on top of profiled steel decking the decking act as framework and working area during the construction phase and it is also act as external reinforcement during service life of the slab I mean first of all profiled steel deck will be placed then reinforcement will provide on top of that and after that the concrete are provided there so here is the figure you can see that after that precast slab 
we all know that uh, the types of slab that required f uh, for some time where um, it's uh, commonly constructed previously then just a place at that time of record precast concrete slab are cast and cured in manufacturing plants and then delivered to the construction site to be created sorry irrigated the most commonly used precast slab are channel and double tv uh, sorry double t types so here the figure are available first of all double channel then uh, i mean channel slab channel precast slab then second v is a uh, double t slab and tango and gravy slab this is the types of precast slab that are construct before work so slab on grate has the some types of um, slab according to grate slab on ground stiff and wrapped slab then well wrapped slab so that other type of slab and uh, if you think that that was helpful for you you can press the like button and also leave a comment so that i can understand that is really helpful for you and your own like and comment inspire me for the next work so thank you thank you very much s12 stay connected till next video